Hello guys, this is Joshua Hawes here, as you can tell in the title video I'm doing with you by Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, if it's wondering why this is there and stuff, it's just because it's still the, the usual plastic casing, this came in like a paper casing, so of course it's been scratched and used because I've had it for a while, but I will fall to the movie, really good, in my opinion, an improvement. On the next one, I like the fact that it's matured a bit because it shows how you get older. It kind of shows as they get older, the films mature as they mature, kind of thing, which I really liked. And the cast was great, they improved a lot. All the actors I felt like were better in this film. I kind of really enjoyed the fat part of it. There's a new character in the film, Gildo Gildo Lockhart. For the character he played, he did really well. He's basically like the smiling celebrity. He's just a personality, really. And stuff because of all the great things he done. Of course, that turns out to be horribly different. different but, yeah. But for overall oh, thoughts of the film. It was a good film. I enjoyed it. By the way, that's um, Dobby the Elf. He was quite a good presence in the film. I quite liked it. He was quite cute and adorable. He was... He was just a really nice person, which is kind of what we need in this crazy town. I'm filming this back in, um, filming this in, like, late March. So if you know that pandemic going on in March, you know that this is, um, I needed stuff like this just to get people like Toby to help escape. That's why I'm watching a lot of films recently, to help me escape from the world, because that's kind of what films are. But anyway, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Really good. Basically, the plot of this movie is that the Chamber of Secrets has been opened, and only the heir of Slytherin can open the Chamber of Secrets. And he and the heir of Slytherin is gonna kill all the muggle born wizards at their school. Like, as they like to call them, mudbloods, which is like a horrible way of basically saying them. Like, yeah, so he kind of, it kind of sounds a bit, um, a bit kind of almost like. Hitler, um, not thinking these people are as good as each other because of stuff they can't control. So I got a notification. So that's kind of the idea. <coughs> yes. Yeah, if it's no problem now, it's not where you think it is, but okay. So, yeah, it's... So I like that kind of... It kind of shows that kind of evil intent. It kind of has that kind of Hitler vibe, in a sense, because... Hitler looked down on people because of stuff that isn't their fault. That is kind of what this film is thinking. That, uh, if you're not what they call pure blood, so like wizard from wizard family, um, you can't, you shouldn't be allowed to teach it. That's what these, that's what the air of Slytherin like believe and stuff. So yeah, um, that's kind of the general premise. And Harry Potter himself gets accused by some people. And is considered one of the suspects to be the person who opened it, even though we know he's not. But he, but he noticed he asked this question in the film in this film himself, like, do did I deserve to be here? Was I, am I where I should be? Am I? Is this the best place for me? Is this the best house for me? Like that, those he asked himself those kind of questions because if it wasn't to, for Harry telling the the hat that he didn't want to go to Slytherin, he would be put in Slytherin. So, I like the fact that he's kind of doubting his, like, he bel the idea that he belonged in Gryffindor. But, yeah. So, yeah, I really like the cast, the actors were really good. It, I kind of like the story, and as we find out this somehow also connects to Voldemort, I think that's really cool. Like... <coughs> Jeez, um, yeah, so, um, I kind of really thought how they like to connect these films to Voldemort to make one big story. Don't ask me what I'm doing here, but it's like, to make one big intricate story for point A, the point B, it makes a slow improvement, the slow build of this story with Voldemort, who's, who's trying to get, become a, resurrect himself as soon as possible and stuff, so... Overall, I think it's a really good film. It has, it improves on some of the faults in the other film. And Jack Malfoy in this film, he's much better. Uh, the second film, we just felt like a bit of an idiot 
at the same time I tell Gwyneth. In this film, he seems like an absolute, just horrible person. He just seems like a person you want to punch in the face. It's like, if, if I saw someone brutally just beaten up to death, I wouldn't think that's a bit harsh for you. I'd be like, well, he kind of deserved it. Which sounds wrong, but that's just how harsh, mean, and just bad. In the best way possible, his character is. He's just so bad at that he's good. He's such a good bad guy. Such a good bully. He's just so horrible, his character. And that's what I like. So, I thought it was the biggest movement. But I like how, um, as you go on to the film, you kind of feel more sympathy, sympathy for him. Because you realise he's kind of born in this play. Well, he didn't want this, it kind of got forced upon him, you kind of feel quite bad for him at the end of it, but, yeah, so, I like, in this film, he's just, they dream as an out god outright, terrible person, that you want to see get embarrassed, he just, he just seems like this terrible, he has that terrible person, <coughs> vibe, so, there, terrible person vibe, and I really don't, I don't want to go too into these, just cause especially the early on films, they're kind of less about what, there's less to kind of talk about with those films, it's not to you get more into the films, you're like, yeah, so, that there's, there's more to unpack in the future films than I feel like there is in this film, but this is still quite a fun film, it is a much darker film, it has a much darker tone of people being these students that have not died yet because of them being buggerborn have been petrified. They because they didn't. You find out why they haven't been petrified, and some no one's died. You find that out on the film. I don't want to explain it because it's how they kind of fit, unravel everything to find out basically where is the chamber secrets, how to get in there and stop this from happening. <coughs> So yeah, overall, I think this is a really good film, very enjoyable film, I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10, improves a lot from the, um, passes, really good film. So yeah, the actors improved, pretty much everyone's improved. So, yeah, um, that's what I can really say, give it a 7.5 out of 10, so let me know in the comments section below what you think of this movie, and if you want, you can rank all the films from where it's the best if you want, but... Yeah, so let me know in the comments section below, what do you think about this movie? Do you think it was good? Do you think it was bad? Do you think it was meh? Do you think it's an improvement of the first one and the films get better? Just let me know in the comments section below, I'd like to know. So if you enjoyed this video, if you did, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and yet turn notifications on so you never miss a video. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys!